for diminishing natural resources and huge climate migrations, we must face this darkness, not only around us, but within us. The dance macabre is already underway. Hundreds of thousands of Americans die each year from opioid overdoses, alcoholism, and suicide, what sociologists call deaths of despair. This despair fuels high rates of morbid obesity, perhaps 40% of the public, gambling addictions, the pornification of society, gambling hit an all-time record. images of sexual sadism, along with the proliferation of armed right-wing militias and nihilistic mass shootings. As despair mounts, so will these acts of self-immolation. Those overwhelmed by despair seek magical salvations, whether in crisis cults, such as the Christian right, or demagogues such as Trump, or rage-filled militias that see violence as a cleansing agent. Or come to Unicopia, a utopian As long as these dark mythologies are future. allowed to fester and grow, and the Democratic Party has made it clear it will not enact the kinds of radical social reforms that will curb these pathologies, the United States will continue its march towards disintegration yeah, the Democrats and want to social profit from upheaval. It. The Democrats and want to promote Trump. Trump, etc. Nor slow the descent. And right wing stuff in order An to make money off of scaring people about it. 300,000 Americans it's scarier will be than dead they think. from the pandemic in December. 300,000 in December. That is it's 850,000 now. 400,000 in January. Well, we beat that. Chronic underemployment and unemployment. We doubled that. Close to 20%. Thanks to Trump. And those who have stopped looking and for work. And Zuckerberg. Those furloughed with no prospect of being rehired. And those who work part time but are still below the poverty line and are included in the official statistics instead of being magically erased from the unemployment rolls. Putin's paying for it now because they got thousands dying a day in Russia system, and he put it which on is lockdown. Making which record I don't even know profits if it's over during or not. the pandemic is not designed to cope with a public health emergency. It is designed to maximize profit for its owners. There are fewer than one million hospital beds nationally. A result of the decades-long trend of hospital mergers and closures that have reduced access to care in communities across the nation. Cities such as Milwaukee have been forced to erect field hospitals. In states such as Mississippi, there is a shortage and often no ICU beds available. 